What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the Energy and Intuitive Reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. So let's see who's going to get this reading. Um, I do have my Instagram and Snapchat below in the description box if you guys want. Cancies, what's up Cancer? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Cancer as a Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. The energy might be reversed for you, Cancer, so take your heart resonates and leave the rest, okay? All right, Cancer, so um, this week I'm pulling two oracles, okay? Just wanted to put that out there. All right, let's see, Cancer. I hope you guys are doing well. We got four cards. Nine of Raphael. Hmm, could be dealing with a... um an Aquarius or have that in your chart and if you do I would go watch that reading um I feel like your wish is coming true so don't worry like literally like that's don't worry what you want is coming it is coming all right so the first card you have is the king of Gabriel here okay fire energy um there's something here that they want you to keep your eyes on whatever this is this looks real good with the king of gabriel this looks real good to you already <laughs> like you're already looking at this and the universe is like don't take your eyes off of it do not move a muscle ask your angels seek the divine your, your angels want to support you Whatever this is, I feel like some of you guys feel like maybe you're you're too much for it. Or it's too much for you. I don't know. We're going to clarify. Because I feel like your angel... Yo, that's the second time. You're in Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be falling in... Falling in love. Mm -mm -mm. I'm in the mood to fight something else. So you guys could, be, could have been manifesting this and it's coming. Um... This could be a person, a fire sign. All right, we're going to see. Then you have the magician here. Okay. So you're manifesting something here, a new beginning. Pay attention. Look out for the signs from the divine. Acknowledge red flags. But there's something about this that you're manifesting, this new beginning, that the universe really wants you to pay attention to. We're going to see what that is. Okay. Then you have the sun here. This is beautiful. There's something really good here for you. It's coming in or, or if it's not, it's already here. And it's going to be so successful. It's, it's like it's going to help you move forward. Like I feel like you're this person. Like like the sun card is the horse and you just hopped on the, on the horse. Declutter, letting go of old items, create a new scarce space for yourself. Yeah, I feel like you're hopping on this horse and moving on to bigger and better things here. Um, we're going to see what that is. And then you have a leap of faith. I mean, you're definitely taking a leap of faith somewhere here. And you're listening to your intuition and your heart, which is beautiful. So may the divine will provide you with your love when you are ready. Um, I think a lot of you guys, this is a leap of faith in love here or with someone who you feel like could be a soulmate. Balance, juggling too many things at once. Find time for yourself. Okay. That threw me off. Um, I feel like that has a lot to do with a leap of faith and soulmate. Like, I feel like you took a leap of faith with someone or you want to, um, but it might not be the right time or like there's something, there's something there. We're going to see what that is. Cancer. Life is wonderful, Cancer. Life is wonderful. All right, what does this ask your angels and King of Gabriel sir? Bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. <laughs> the King of Gabriel is also the King of Wands in the regular tarot. That's why I was laughing. You have the Knight of Wands with the Empress in reverse and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so whatever this King of Gabriel is, whatever this energy is, this, they're very brave here. They coming in like, they're very brave here. Um, they're going to be very, they're, very, they're trying to offer you, they're trying to give the, give you their time, their energy. Cancer, who is this? I'm blushing. <laughs> this is like, okay, but there's something here with the Empress in reverse. It's like, I think maybe this is you. You're closed off to it, but the person is still there. 
Who is this empress in reverse? Like, there's somebody here that's closed off. And what's this empress in reverse? The temperance. Could be a Sagittarius. Oh, it's them. They're closed off. They're resisting. They ain't moving. They ain't doing nothing. They came in all hot and heavy and then what? Just stood there? I feel like this person is, is um is getting over something. And they're and they're just trying to find balance right now. Don't take this um don't take this um this person's really exhausted from something. Um hold on. I I feel like I need to ask like what should Kanto do about this? about this energy like don't do anything you have the two of wands the two of pentacles in reverse and the rest four of swords with the sun card don't do anything the sun the four of swords with the first card that came out just rest don't do nothing allow this person to go with what they're going through like i said they're going through something so don't take it personal all right um they're just going through something i don't know if you know about it or not but yeah just give this person space, that energy, whatever it is, okay? Um, what is this pay attention and magician? Bottom of the deck is the three of wands in reverse. Okay, you have the ten of cups, the page of cups in reverse, and the queen of cups in reverse here. All right, so this thing that you're, that you're manifesting, I, I feel like... I feel like you know, I feel like you know that it's coming... I feel like you know that it's coming, but it's like now you're doubting it. You know that there's the, this, um, well, you're out of your manifest. It could be a family, could be true happiness, could be divine love, could be love and support from a certain energy. But I feel like you're, it's like you could be doubting your intuition and like could be rushing it. Like, like, where is it? Like, I need this right now. Like, why is this coming in already? Type of energy. Three of Wands in reverse, the world in reverse, and the Empress. Yeah, the Empress in reverse. There's like an excessive control here. You need to let go of control here. Um, you can't. There is no shortcut to this. You got to go through the mud. Like, I, I feel like you want something to hurry up, and it's not. Gonna, it's not going to be on your time, Cancer. Okay. <clears throat> There's delays for a reason. So the universe wants you to like realign yourself like don't be so like this this i feel like this is happening because the universe wants to wants to show you like that you have to kind of just allow the energies to be don't be on top of the energy so much right like just let the energies come to you okay all right what is declutter and the sun here declutter and the sun Let's do clutter in this one. Bottom of the deck is the star. Can we do a little query? I think I told you guys this already. Yo, the devil with the judgment. Whew. Major arcana. Double. Double whammy. Um, this is definitely going to be life-changing, whatever it is that you guys are moving away from. Um, I feel like... It's like this was really hard for you to do with the devil here. You felt it, you were chained to this for so long. Like, it's like so freeing um i feel like you had to make a judgment call like your wish was calling you the star here five of wands in reverse and the eight of swords like i feel like you were just it's like you could have been there for so long because you were trying to avoid conflict you could have tried to avoid gossip like maybe you knew that leaving at a certain at a certain time or whatever was going to be an issue but it's like you got you got a huge wake-up call here that you're just like i gotta go it's it's time Things, things could have been going bad left to right there too so maybe that's just also a sign that you got like yeah i gotta go i gotta get out of here things things just keep going from bad to worse um what is a soulmate and leap of faith here what is a soulmate and leap of faith bottom of the deck is the queen of wands you have the eight of pentacles in reverse the ten of wands and the hanged man in reverse all right, so this leap of faith, um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be, I'm, there's a leap of faith that you wanna take towards a certain soulmate or to someone who you think is a soulmate. 
Um, this definitely does not go along with this. This is a completely different message. This is somebody who you already have in mind. I feel like whatever this is, it's already, it's becoming too, it's too much for you to handle. It's a struggle right now. Um, there's no motivation to keep this going, whatever this is. There's a lot of delays. This might not even be a soulmate. This might even be something that you just really want is also what I'm getting. And if it's becoming too burdensome, if it's becoming too much for you to obtain to get this, for this new beginning to begin, it's because there's a reason it's not for you. Whatever this is, it's, again, it, this could be a situation that's going to be a dead-end situation. And the universe is trying to, like, save you by bringing all these delays, by causing all this stuff to happen, to show you, hey, Cancer, it's not this way. Um, that could be why you have the acknowledged red flags here as well. Okay? Queen of Wands is here. You're, you, you don't need this. Okay, you're confident enough in order to make a different decision to go a different route because this is it's, it's too hard and you're feeling it. I feel like you're still trying to push towards it and it's just like the universe is like, no. All right. All right, it's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.